I'd li now like to introduce to you Mr. Eddie Boyet, Lumens East Zone Manager. Hello and thank you everyone for joining today's call. Um, I will be uh, presenting some information on our lecture capture uh, system, uh, our LC200. It's one of my favorite products uh, from Lumens and it makes everything uh, easier from a streaming and recording uh, standpoint. My contact information is here on the screen. Um, I am the East Zone Manager for Lumens. Uh, it's my 13th year with the company. Uh, feel free to reach me at eddie at mylumens.com. Uh, my cell phone is 724-513-8426. If you have any questions, please feel free to, uh, and you don't want to ask them here on the webinar, uh, please feel free to reach out to me via email uh, offline. Okay, so a few things we're going to go over today. This is just your basic outline. Um, I'm going to discuss uh, some of the uh, LC200 features um, and also uh, go over many multiple applications for this product. Uh, Mr. Paul Munoz uh, is also joining us today. He is our tech specialist for Lumens. Um, he will also be presenting um, part of these uh, slides uh, from a more technical standpoint. Uh, so if you have any questions, um, uh, feel free to ask those at the end of the, uh, the session um, and we'll be uh, able to answer all of them at that time. All right, so let's get started. Uh, the LC200, uh, as I just stated, uh, can help you simplify your recording and streaming uh, process. Uh, Lumens, we make several different types of cameras, uh, PTZ cameras, box cameras, video conferencing cameras. Uh, many of these can be, uh, go directly into our LC200 uh, for recording and streaming purposes. Um, and this is what I'll be going over with you. Um, again, which makes it easier for you to uh, establish your, um, your broadcast. Okay, some of the key features. The LC200 gives you the ability to record and stream 1080p at 60 or 30 frames per second. You can, use, you can have four channels mixing video uh, as program and you can see that box outlined in red on the picture uh, there on, in the slideshow. Uh, the LC200 also features an intuitive multi-view GUI, uh, allows you to have picture in picture, gives you the ability to have uh, picture by picture, picture over picture with many different layout windows. There's also an advanced scenes switch um, and there's multiple video source switching. There's four HDMI inputs. Uh, there's a Lumens IP camera input, uh, as well as the NDI camera, Lumens NDI camera input, okay? So the interface of the LC200. Um, from the front, you can see that uh, we, can, we label this box as having a, a one terabyte uh, internal hard disk drive. Uh, there's a USB 3.0 storage port on the front of the box as well. Uh, some basic buttons that give you different layouts, um, as well as being able to select your channel uh, for recording, for taking snapshots, um, and for your streaming control. The rear panel of the box gives you many different uh, outputs and inputs. Uh, as you can see, the, the four HDMI inputs um, paired with or partnered with your audio inputs there. There's two HDMI outputs. One is for the multi-view and one is your program view. You also can connect a USB mouse and keyboard directly to the box uh, to, con to uh, control and to uh, maneuver the, the scenes and the switching capability. And obviously uh, the IP or the ethernet port. This box can also be controlled via RS-232 and RS-485. All right, how do we save the recordings? Uh, once the recordings, uh, once you're uh, conducting your broadcast and you wanna save the recordings, we give you several different ways to do that. There is a one terabyte storage uh, built into this box. Uh, it can be accessed in the built-in file manager. Uh, you can also 
connect a, an external USB drive and record directly to that USB, um, that USB external USB drive. You can save through the GUI file manager that is provided to you on the box. You can save it directly to a local FTP server. Uh, Lumens, we also work with many different content management systems like Panopto, Echo360, and others uh, to help save your recordings as well. And also you can save it to a web page file manager. Okay, I just talked about uh, Panopto and Echo360. We also, um, we, we, we integrate with, with many different online streaming platforms and, and other content management systems as well. Um, some of those more popular ones are, are on the slide here uh, for streaming, obviously, YouTube, Facebook Live, Twitch, uh, Livestream, Wowza, uh, all of those um, that you see there are um, very popular with our LC200 users. Okay, let's gonna get into some of the applications of where we're gonna use the LC200. Um, and again, this can be, can fit pretty much into any vertical market. And hopefully we can give you some ideas of how to use is the education space. Uh, a lot of times uh, colleges and universities use our LC200 with our document camera, um, as well as um, the classes that are going on at that time. So the education space is uh, a big space for us. Also the house of worship. Uh, within the house of worship, uh, churches are able to uh, have specific types of bundles with our cameras uh, to be able to record services or stream services. Um, obviously now with, with the social distancing practices going on um, and some churches uh, still not open, uh, the, the ability to stream uh, the service um, has become very, very important. So the LC200 has been able to be used in this particular manner. Also, for large events, uh, many corporate corporations um, are using this particular product to uh, do event streaming and recording. Um, many different uh, uh, trainings are being done with this product uh, to give the, uh, to make the experience of the, um, of the actual event uh, uh, a better a better experience from the beginning. It can be recorded, it can be streamed um, for students uh, in a specific type of uh, university or a medical school um, uh, in a distance learning scenario um, or uh, for storage uh, for this particular um, storage for this particular um, uh, procedure to help uh, to help with future uh, to help future patients. Again, multiple cameras can be connected uh, to get the best type of uh, cover. As you can see, the cameras can go in via HDMI or IP. Um, the box can uh, then give you control of multiple, many different types of, um, many different types of scenarios using, using the box. We also, um, I'll talk a little bit about this a little bit later, we will have a wall plate um, that comes out a little bit later this year um, that you can control the actual, um, the actual box with. So a little more information on that a little bit later. The next couple of slides, I'm gonna ask Mr. Paul Munoz uh, to step in and to talk about. Paul, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I can hear you, Eddie. Okay, go ahead and talk about the next couple of uh, screens for us, Paul. Yeah, sure. So I will take over here. Um, as Eddie talked about earlier, if you guys caught it, the LC200 has a multi-view GUI, uh, which basically allows you to connect a USB keyboard and mouse directly to the unit and do any scene switching, any camera switching, uh, or input switching that you want to do uh, with a monitor, not needing a computer. That also being said, um, in August, we will have the update so that you can use it 
uh, via a computer. So if you do have this item rack mounted and you don't want someone in the same closet or area as the unit itself, then you will be able to log in uh, with the web GUI. Uh, and then lastly, we have a wall plate, which Eddie kind of showed you on the, on the slide before. In the wall plate, you kind of see backup stream record in one, two, and three. One, two, and three is basically a set of macros that you'll be able to set in a updated firmware coming soon. It'll basically allow you to choose the scene and camera positions that you want for, for those layout that you had selected uh, by hitting one button. And then you see the USB is there for any type of data video retrieval after you are done recording. And um, yep, here we go. Next slide is kind of getting into the multi-view. What can you do once you're in here? As you see, we have audio control. Uh, next underneath that is scenes, layout, overlay, and background, uh, which we'll go over more in depth in a little bit. And then the third one, or the, or the fourth, fourth one essentially is camera control. Um, camera control will control any IP camera that is our, or any of our IP cameras, uh, includes uh, the A50P and 61P and our box cam that will allow you to zoom in on the box cams. The box cams don't have a pen tilt zoom feature. Um, audio control there, you see you can choose HDMI in or uh, line in slash mic in uh, for each input that we have that we give you guys. And then you can adjust the volumes here. Uh, so if you're getting out of sync, or I'm sorry, not out of sync, but if you're getting a higher volume on one versus the other, you'll be able to uh, adjust that right here on the fly. Uh, and then the one in the middle you see is scenes, layout, overlay, and background. Now, um, this one is a little more in depth. You go ahead and you can set, select your layout. That's gonna be shown on the program out. You can select your overview uh, and, and your background. Uh, go ahead and go to the next one, Eddie. So here's a little more on scenes and I was kind of waiting to, to explain this a little more. As you guys see here in the red circle on the right hand side where the bird is, this is considered a scene. And what you might ask yourself is what is a scene? Well, a scene is a combination of an overlay, a layout and a background that's already been chosen. That way, if the user is live and you just wanna select one, it's gonna automatically pop to what you selected. So it allows you to go in ahead of time and create a lower third and, and maybe a background for something that you know is only going to have a half an image, but you want to show something else or, or you want to fill in the black, the, the black backing essentially. Um, now we do give you some basic ones out of the box, but we also have a software you can download that will help you create some of these uh, and then upload them into the box. Go ahead, Eddie. And you, you can go to the next slide now. And then last but not least, here is the remote like we talked about earlier. Um, and again, this is that, sorry, not one remote, wall panel that's coming out. And this is gonna be great for people who just wanna put it in a rack mount situation, uh, maybe a classroom or uh, some sort of uh, hospital environment, uh, any place where you need just to be able to hit, hit a button and it goes. You don't need the box physically to be seen, Basically, like, like we talked about earlier, USB flash drive to get your video off, macros one through three, which is a scene plus a camera preset, which you can set in the software that'll be um, a firmware update that'll be coming out shortly. And then basically start, stop streaming, backup is, is how you're gonna get that item onto the USB drive, uh, and then start and stop your recording. Um, we give you the streaming and the recording options because sometimes people just wanna stream and don't wanna record, they just wanna send out a video. Uh, and then we'll take any questions on these features uh, at the end, and I'll give it back to Eddie now. Thanks, Paul. I apologize, everybody, for my uh, internet issues today. Um, I've done several of these webinars, and unfortunately, I'm having a little issue today with my uh, audio dropping. Uh, so we do have some new features coming on this product here. Um, obviously, the biggest piece for us is the wall plate. Uh, controllability, um, obviously the web page director GUI coming out in August as well. Uh, but we're continuing to update this product um, and want to make it um, as viable uh, in your specific uh, vertical market that you are, uh, that you're involved in, whether it be education, house of worship, the healthcare field, uh, any sort of um, uh, scenario where you might be using this for town council meetings, um, anything like that. 
Uh, so we will continue to update you on those. Okay, so a basic over overview here. Uh, the LC200 uh, does lots of things, but mainly it is to make your job easier uh, to help you get out um, a streamed video signal um, or to record that signal. Uh, we give you the ability to integrate other uh, content management systems um, and stream on many different types of platforms as well. Uh, we provide uh, the GUI and the file manager um, and give you the ability to switch uh, swap channels, uh, many different types of, of scenes um, as well. So it's like a, a mini broadcast box. Um, and again, it's one of our most popular products right now when we bundle it with our particular uh, cameras, our IP cameras specifically, but our HDMI cameras as well. Okay, let's talk about a little bit about our support. Uh, the LC200 carries a three-year unlimited replacement warranty. Uh, we also can provide professional development on the box. Uh, there are a few video tutorials on YouTube on this product as well. Um, all of Luma's products are made in Taiwan. Um, um, and we also, obviously, Paul is our tech uh, assistant, tech support specialist uh, here in the U.S. Uh, he and his team can uh, support you with any questions that you may have. Here's a bit of information about our company in terms of our social media platforms. Please feel free to like us and follow us and subscribe to our, our YouTube channel. Um, you can find the latest information on our products. Um, a lot of times on our social media platforms and our website. Okay, let's take a few questions now. Um, so one question is, does the panel have LED lights or some indicator of status for on and off? Paul, do you know that? Yeah, so as of right now, what I'm being told is the actual soft buttons will have, uh, will light up. Uh, that hasn't been finalized yet, so uh, we'll know more in the coming future. But as of right now, like when you hit record, it'll go red type deal. And then when you're not recording, it, it'll be like a, an amber or a green light. Okay, great. Thanks, Paul. All right, what other questions do we have at this point? Again, I apologize for the um, audio difficulties today. Uh, if anybody has a question about the, 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 uh, the slides that I was off on, please feel free to, to ask and I can go back or specifically answer your question. couple more minutes, we'll leave the, the question box open here. Hi, Rick. Uh, okay, Rick asks, are the HDMI inputs separate from the audio inputs, thus making it available for a large scale install? Paul, can you help us out on that, please? Okay, uh, so, so in HDMI input separate from the audio inputs. So the way it generally works is the HDMI, uh, each bank, each channel bank has um, an audio, 3.5 jack audio input, and then obviously the HDMI. And basically from there, you can choose whether to use the HDMI or the audio for that channel, uh, and, and so on and so on with all four. Um, and then at any given time, though, when you are doing the recording, it, it's going to record what you selected. Uh, one of the things that we mentioned is we do record each bank individually. So if you have the program out only showing channel one, but you had some audio, say, on channel three that you wanted to pick up, it's still going to be recorded in the master recording later on. I hope that that helps your question. Thanks, Paul. Other questions? It looks like there's something in the chat, Eddie, someone asking if the LC200 needs configuration. 
Okay, can you address that please, Paul? Yeah, so the LC200 does need some basic configuration. Uh, it's not uh, really hard. You're gonna log into the box itself. Uh, if you're using our IP cameras, you're gonna do a search for the cameras and link them to the box. Uh, once that's been done, and you can basically do an IP address there too if you want a static instead of a DHCP address. Uh, and that's also where you're gonna set up your streams. But once you're out of that, everything else is done through the multi-view. So you would use the, the hardwired multi-view to do all your scene selections, your, your channel changing. If you have four different HDMIs inputted in say like uh, 10 IP sources, you'll basically every time you go into one of the channels one through four, there's a drop down menu. And you're just gonna select what you want out of that drop down menu. So you can have channel one on all four if you really wanted it to be. So it, it gives you the ability to kind of do what you want and flexibility of a multi-device system. Thanks, Paul. Okay, other questions? Again, if you have other questions or comments, um, uh, please feel free to email me uh, at eddie at mylumens.com. Um, we'll leave, a, leave the question box open for about one more minute. I want to thank everybody again for joining us today. Lumens, we are an optics company. Uh, we provide many different types of cameras into many different vertical markets. We also manufacture a couple of accessories to support our cameras. The LC200 is one of those accessories. Um, and we've been very successful bundling this particular LC200 with our, uh, with our cameras. All right, if there's no other questions, uh, again, thank you everyone for attending. Um, and I look forward to speaking with uh, you guys on a later date. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and contact us. Have a great day. Bye-bye.